Physically, the human body does not need sex to maintain health. Semen, vaginal fluids, and key hormones continue to cycle and remain within their natural healthy range, regardless of sexual activity. For men, the testosterone hormone naturally fluctuates on a daily basis. The body continues to produce sperm, and these unused sperm are broken down and reabsorbed by the body. Their proteins, sugars, and minerals are taken back into the bloodstream and reused to make new cells. It does not build up and cause physical harm. The body may naturally release semen during sleep, nocturnal emission, a phenomenon more common in younger men or those with higher testosterone levels. When sexual activity has been absent for months or even years, the body may take a little longer to respond. Arousal can be slower and maintaining an erection may require more stimulation than before. Erectile dysfunction may develop. Regular erections help maintain the health and elasticity of penile tissues by promoting blood flow. Men who have less sexual activity may be at a higher risk of developing erectile dysfunction, or ED, later on. Also, research suggests that frequent ejaculation may be associated with a lower risk of prostate cancer. Men who ejaculate more often, for example, 21 times or more per month, have been found to have a lower risk than those who ejaculate less often. On the other hand, for men who are trying to conceive, a very long period of abstinence, for example, many weeks, can lead to an accumulation of older, lower-quality sperm. For women, long periods without sexual activity, like months and years of abstinence, don't usually cause hormonal imbalances, irregular cycles, or harm to the ovaries. However, regular sexual arousal or orgasm increases blood flow to the pelvic area, which can help maintain tissue elasticity. Natural lubrication might be a bit lower if there's less arousal or stimulation. It can contribute to vaginal walls becoming thinner, less elastic, and drier. Some women notice less natural lubrication or slightly reduced elasticity over many years, similar to what happens with aging. Also, regular sexual activity, particularly with orgasm, can help strengthen the pelvic floor muscles, the same ones that support the bladder and uterus. When these muscles aren't regularly activated, they may gradually weaken, sometimes affecting bladder control over time. Some studies suggest that people who have sex regularly, for example, one to two times per week, have higher levels of an antibody, immunoglobulin A, that boosts the immune system, making them potentially less susceptible to common colds. Regular sexual activity can help lower blood pressure, offering mild cardiovascular health benefits. It also releases endorphins and oxytocin, natural chemicals that reduce stress. Without it, some people may feel slightly more tension or irritability. The effects of not having sex depend on whether it's a personal choice or due to a lack of opportunity. When desire is present but intimacy is missing, emotional tension can build. Men may express frustration or anger, while women may feel self-doubt or reduced self-worth. Ultimately, who you're intimate with and how you connect matters far more for mental well-being than simply having sex. People who choose celibacy themselves often report positive mental health outcomes, such as greater focus, less stress from relationships, and a sense of alignment with their personal values. Pelvic floor exercises, regular workouts, good sleep, and a balanced diet can all support the same physical benefits that sexual activity provides. Sexual connection is just one path to balance and fulfillment, and for those who choose otherwise, 
peace and clarity are equally within reach.